Hello you guys, welcome to the moving vlog. I move very soon. Very, 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 very soon. And so I need to start packing up my room and taking down everything. It is go time. We need to do this and we need to do this now. And when I say we, I mean me. I need to do this. We need to get started. If you guys haven't watched the other moving vlog, I packed up some like the little things I don't typically use on a daily basis. But now that it's getting really close, I need to start packing those things up. I think the first thing that I want to do is take down this. This is hung up all by command strips. I'm a tiny bit scared the command strips may peel the paint. I also need to take these down. And the sconces that I'm covering. <laughs> We're gonna start moving out. Before we can start with this, we need to move the bed a little bit so I can have some room. Just need to make sure. <laughs> There's nothing that's gonna... Oh, there is stuff back there. Uh, whatever. We'll try it. Please don't scratch anything. Please don't scratch anything. Oh, I just heard a scratch. What did it hit? Oh no. I have a ton of stuff under my bed. Okay, we're just gonna throw all the pillows to the ground. Let's start. I am very impressed by command strip. No paint came off, none at all. It looks great, it looks like nothing ever happened. The issue that I now have, I don't know what to do with these. It was so hard to get them up the stairs when I moved them up here, because I always say this, but I live on the third floor of my apartment, and there's no elevator. I just don't know what to do with these. I'm like, do I recycle them? Like, they will definitely not fit in a recycling bin. Like, I, I don't know what to do. Obviously, by the time this video goes up, I'll have figured it out. At the moment, I'm like, I don't I don't know. I just want to say I am aware that this may not be my best idea. These could all come just like tumbling down. The door could open, cause a little domino effect. I'm aware. I need them out of the way for right now. We'll get back to them when we need to. They kind of look cool like that. Okay, let's push the bed back. Oh wow, why is it heavier? Is that it? Did it go all the way? There's like a little bit of a gap, but that's fine. Wow, it's kind of weird seeing it like this. I haven't seen this this wall in a really long time. Oh, there's pillows everywhere. Let me just give me a second. Oh my gosh, it's like pillow galore. I can't even walk over here. So many pillows. You can't see them, but they're all just like stacked right here. Okay, so the last thing that I have to take off of our command strips, like these are drilled into the walls, so I'm probably gonna have to like patch them and paint them. But these are the last things that are command strips. And I keep going back and forth if I wanna keep these or get rid of them. I could put them in my bathroom at my new apartment. I don't love them, if I'm being completely honest. I bought these like beautiful frames from Amazon, but they were broken when they came, they were shattered. So I just got these cheap ones from Ikea and I don't love them, but I'm like, I could just use them to decorate my apartment now until I find something more permanent that I want. I'll probably keep them and then if I don't like them, I'll just throw them away or like get rid of them or give them to someone. But it's kind of annoying if I bring them to the apartment and don't use them. Whatever, I'll do it, I'll do it. I also need to erase the pencil mark from all of these. <laughs> I know this is not the correct way to take these off, but this is how I'm doing it. <coughs> I think there's like a splinter in the back of my throat. Okay, cool. They're gone. <coughs> there's definitely wood shavings in the back of my throat. Wait, does that mean I just swallowed the wood shavings? I have all of these clothes under here. <laughs> I have too much stuff under my bed. Too much. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh my gosh. These are all clothes that I want to sell. I have so many trash bags of clothes that I want to sell that I just need to get around to it. I feel like stupid for moving with this stuff, but I'm also like, I want to sell this because this is cute clothes. I think what I'm going to do is take it out of a bin, put it in a trash bag. It'll be easier to move and I can have a free bin and I think that will make it like take up less space. Let's do this.
now it's time to tackle the closet. I went through and I just kind of picked out a few pieces of clothing that I thought that I'd probably wear for the rest of the week. So now I have all my clothes that I can start packing up. I don't know where I want to start. This is kind of overwhelming, like just a tad bit. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> like a black hole. I kind of shove a lot of things in my closet. Like there's just kind of like a like a landing ground for like I don't know what to do with it. Let's put it in here. So that's kind of why I'm like hmm. I think I should start like the jeans that are like up here. I don't really wear those right now. It's 115 degrees outside in Arizona. I guess I'll just start like taking them down. Just knocked over something. I'm gonna get a bin for all of my folded clothes for my hanging clothes if you're moving somewhere in state This is the best trick But you basically like put a trash bag over your clothes with the hangers on it And then when you get to your new place, you just put it back up. You'll see it when I do it. Don't worry I also took most of the shoes except for two pairs that I'll probably wear during move and I put them all in my shoe basket <laughs> This is the progress we made here. I can still fit like little things in little corners and just kind of squish it down. So this is pretty much all my clothes in these drawers except for like my underwear and socks and all that stuff in that top drawer. Oh, I do have more clothes. I, <laughs> no I don't. Do I? I have hangers under here. I have little things that I can just shove in the corners. If you see purses like this, they're fake. Don't worry. I don't have that kind of money, but I'm trying to think. I'll probably end up having to do another bin and do like my laundry stuff, my bras and underwear. There's other stuff in here too. Oh, things like this. Next up, I'm just going to be filling a bin with random stuff that I have, like vases, more candles that I found, and the random stuff under my bed. It needs to go somewhere, so it will be here. a lot of room there's like a bunch of like little areas that i can just put things in who last minute if i find them but i think i'm gonna go back and work on the closet again it's kind of messy in here a little overwhelming i just put all the stuff that i'm gonna wear this week in this drawer and then let's start working on everything else This is complete chaos. I'm stressed and I can barely walk.
Hello, good morning. A little update for you guys. So last night, I put all of my hanging clothes in these trash bags. I have two down here. I just felt like it was like getting heavy, even though these clothes are normally on this rack. I don't know why. This is for my bathroom stuff. It probably won't stay like that. I'll probably take the hangers out and put some more stuff in here. These are all clothes that I want to sell. Literally four trash bags worth. Well, three and a half, but wow. This is one bin that I have that doesn't have clothes in it. And then I brought my three other bins downstairs because my mom and my stepdad are coming. They're going to help me take all the stuff in my room. Room. And I always talk about this. I keep talking about it, but I live on the third floor of my apartment There's no elevator So I just brought the stuff down to my living room and then we're gonna bring it to my parents house And I'll just make it easier to move I know it doesn't sound like it is but trust me It will make it a lot easier just to have all the stuff in their garage and just load it in the u-haul instead of having to like bring Everything down three flights of stairs all at once It'll just make it go by faster. It might be a little bit of extra work, but who really cares? Because, like, what else do I have going on? But they're coming really soon. They've already left. And they're going to help me take down everything that I've hung on my wall. So I think it's just my TV, the curtains, and my sconces. I think that's all I have. Oh, I have some hook in here, too. And then I think that's it. Let me update you where we're at with all of this. So my mom and my stepdad came and they helped me remove all the wood and we just threw it in like the giant dumpsters for my apartment. And then I was gonna record them like taking the TV off the wall and I was getting my camera out. And then by that time they had finished, like it was so fast. I was like, what? And then I went through the kitchen stuff that was mine and I packed it all up. I'm honestly afraid that it's all gonna break, but we will deal with that later, I guess. That is a future me thing to worry about. But I feel like everything is pretty much packed up here at least. Well, honestly, Honestly, that's a lie. Not everything's packed up, as you can see. <laughs> But I feel like all like the big things, like I have my makeup that needs to be packed. I have like my mirrors and lamps that just need to go into bins. I kind of feel like everything is good except for like my hand soap, <laughs> my bedding, which I use to sleep on at night. This is kind of crazy. Like, is there anything under my bed? There is nothing under my bed. This thing was filled with stuff all year. It's kind of crazy seeing it empty. Like it kind of feels like a little surreal. Like it's not empty though. Like I'm saying that, but there's clearly still stuff. Like there's no decor on the walls. I don't know. It's kind of odd. I can't believe I'm actually moving. I'm so excited. Tomorrow, I'm actually going home. I have a dentist appointment in my hometown, so I'm gonna pack up all of my home stuff tomorrow after my dentist appointment, so it should be good. I'll give you guys a little look around of the room. You can probably see it from behind me. The only thing that I really need to pack are my two suitcases, and that's where I'll put like all the clothes that I'm gonna be wearing for the rest of the week, my makeup, like my skincare, all that stuff. I probably only need one, but I have two suitcases, so. We'll deal with it. I have this, I have some wrapping paper. This is my curtain rod. This curtain rod is from Target and I would not recommend it. So I'm gonna throw that away. I have all of this. My room is a mess, don't get me wrong. What we took the curtains on, you can see we spackled the wall. I'm gonna like, you know, sand it down. I need to figure out if I need to paint or not. I'm not sure how my apartment deals with things like this. And then here's my bathroom. This is not organized. I kind of just threw these towels in here because I had hooks here. We also changed out the shower head. I had like a shower head that I bought from Amazon. I think that I'm going to get rid of this cart. Hopefully I'll find someone that wants it. And then my closet. The main thing that I need to pack is this bin. I'll probably have like another bin where I put my bedding in it, the lamps, the mirrors, all that stuff. This is my TV. Yay. So we're really making great progress. I'm very very pleased with myself. Like this is impressive if you ask me. Hello everyone, it's the next day. Obviously I'm in my car. I need to buckle my seatbelt. I'm actually going to my hometown right now. I have a bunch of things I need to pack up there, like uh, little things here and there. And then like I said, I've been shipping all my packages there. So I kind of want to like consolidate that. I'll do a little haul of the other stuff that I got that I haven't shown you guys yet. I'm in such a bad mood right now. You can probably hear it in my voice. I am so beyond frustrated. And I feel like a brat for being frustrated because my family,
family moved all of this stuff of mine into the garage you guys don't know it's like 115 degrees outside today in arizona your garage is even hotter than it is outside so they moved all of this stuff into the garage that i did not want them to move into the garage i literally feel like such a brat for saying this but i had to take all of this stuff and move it back inside and it's so hot outside so basically when i was staying here for a week watching my dogs i had prepped all of this stuff and like put them in places so all i needed to do was just pack it into boxes because i wasn't ready to pack it into boxes then but i had it all prepared all set up that would just make it super easy and take me like 30 minutes to do it max and they moved everything around so now it's going to take me hours to do all this stuff and stuff that i literally spent like hours like prepping it to just make it easier on me and i'm just like I'm so frustrated and it's so hot outside. I want to scream. This is just not what I needed today. I don't have the time to take all this stuff and have it take hours when it was supposed to take 30 minutes. I'm so beyond frustrated and I feel like such a jerk for being frustrated. <sighs> Sorry, this is literally me mad. Like for example, my dresser was right here and I had the stuff in my dresser drawer that I would just put in the bins and then they moved my dresser and took all the drawers out and moved them into like the weirdest places. <sighs> I'm so frustrated right now. I don't have time to be doing this. <laughs> so annoyed right now that I want to cry like that's how angry I am that I want to cry I have to unpackage a ton of things before I can pack them but I literally feel like such a brat for being annoyed but wow this could not have mm. sorry that I'm being annoying there's also a ton of stuff that like I put in a certain place and then they moved and now I need to move it back to that certain place because I wanted to keep it there surprise surprise I'm sorry I should not be getting angry on camera but I have a ton of things from Amazon I should not do that that close to my hair. What are you? How do I open this? Oh, you can tell they're very thin. These are wine glasses. Obviously you can't see, but they're like more like a flat square wine glass. Okay, breakable. Good to know, good to know. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear the ceiling fan in this, like the air movement. As I've recently complained about, I've been going back and forth between the garage and it's really hot in there. I need some airflow because my mom also keeps our house really hot. Man, I'm just on a roll. I am hissed right now. What is this? It's like a long stick. Seriously, what is this? Oh, okay. So I honestly think I might return this, but I bought like a foldable drying rack that you put over half your sink to help you dry your dishes. This is a lot bigger than I thought. Like this is this is pretty large. And I was thinking about it last night and I was like, I probably don't need that. That was probably an impulse purchase. How do they get these things so small to fit in here? I just never understand that. Like whose job is that to figure out how you can get something the smallest possible? Like I just, how do you think? I can't even close this. Whatever, I'm not closing it. I also bought these baking sheets. I didn't have any because my roommates had bought them. This is a little three pack, so big, medium, small. Needed that. Honestly, someone commented this and i totally agree like you don't realize how much stuff you need for a house or an apartment until it comes to buying it all at once and then you're like wow this is a lot of stuff this is a really big box right here what is it, it doesn't say what this is but this is huge you can't even see how big this big this is huge <laughs> it's not that heavy though so i have no idea what's in here oh oh i'm just gonna keep it in the box i bought like a foldable drying rack for clothes i know what these are Oh, it's bent. These are all for my to-do list. So I got some colorful pens and then I got two of these rolls of printer labels. So if you order some to-do list when they launch pretty soon, your label will probably be printed on one of these, if not the others that I have a lot of still left. We have this box. Inside it is another box. Oh, we got mixing bowls. I want to see if they're cute. I got this set of mixing bowls. I feel like this is not big enough. Well, actually, maybe it is, but they all have lids, so they're kind of like Tupperware too. I hope this is going to be big enough. We'll see. Is that all I have? No, I have more. Oh, I do have more. Just kidding. It never runs out. I bought Sharpies for the to-do list as well. So I think that's it. I hope that's it. We'll see.
it's framed so I don't spill more things on it. It's not, it's not opening. This is not going according to plan. Ow, I just stabbed myself. Really not going according to plan. I just bought this frame on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can remember. If I don't remember, please ask me if you want it. It's just a white simple frame because all the other ones were so ugly and so expensive. Like who's paying hundreds of dollars for a frame? Couldn't be me. The fake diploma? Eh, my real diploma. Why do I feel like this is like confidential information? Like I'm showing you my like social security number or something. By showing you my diploma. It's not that deep. I have no idea what if it even looks good right now because it's upside down. Is this not gonna go back in? This is not going back in. Yeah, it did. Okay, yay. I just need to put the little floppy things down. Guess who graduated? Me, from college. Maybe one of the biggest party schools in America, but nevertheless, I still did it. <laughs> it looks nice. I, I would, I was gonna say I should frame it, but like I literally just did. I meant hang it. Well, we don't need this. Anymore. Oh, this is to hang it. I guess I should maybe keep that. I always like have like little hanging things laying around. I'm like, I have no idea what that goes to. Where should I put it? Mom? Yeah. Do you want to display this somewhere? My diploma? Why are, you, why are you holding it like that? I meant like, do you want to display it in the house, not on my camera? I just wanted to see your reaction. Did you think I meant to my camera? What? Did you think I meant to display it to the camera? What, you were kidding? I think it looks great there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't need to display my diploma. I don't know. It doesn't really fit. That was me when I was one. Perfect. My kindergarten photo. Show them the second grade one where you pulled your hair out and got in trouble. This one right and here. That teacher wanted to know if you needed to be on medication. That was really rude of her. She just passed away. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I feel bad saying that now. Here. If I was going to hang it, I'd put it right here. But I don't think it goes. Why not? Because these frames are all... I get a different frame. everything packed up except for my suitcase my room looks so messy like this but i'll show you what i have i packed this bin with a bunch of like stuff that kind of took up a lot of room like my trash can my extra hangers some cleaning supplies towels bathroom stuff this is all my bathroom stuff down here and then i have this bin right here with things that are too big to put a lid on so my lamps my mirrors picture frames this is a mirror that i put a towel over my dyson air wrap wrapping paper stuff like that so this one will not have a lid on it obviously and i like to keep all that stuff in just one bin as much as I can. I can still put little things in this bin if I find them, but I don't think I have anything else. So the only things that I have left are to pack my suitcases with like the clothes that I've been wearing throughout the days, my skincare, stuff like that that I'll be using on an everyday basis. The game plan is I get my keys on Tuesday and then I move it on Wednesday. So I'm going to pack this stuff with all of my stuff that I'm going to move in on Tuesday. And then this stuff, like they'll mostly be empty, but since I have two, I'm like, might as well use them. This stuff will be like my very last minute stuff, like last, last minute. My phone charger <laughs> my moisturizer things like that will go in there for me to move on wednesday but yeah i can't believe that it's basically all packed feels weird One last thing to do and I'm really nervous to do it. Taking this bed skirt off, it was a hassle to get it on and I'm really nervous to get it off. I'm not keeping it, which is the good thing. I guess it was probably easier to take it off than it was to put it on. Oh, my phone's under my bed. <laughs> okay, this isn't too bad. I mean, is this the easiest thing in the world? No. Not bad. Wait, this is so much easier than it was putting it on. <laughs> victory and we're all done packing the only thing i have left is my bedding and my sheets but since i'm going to be sleeping on my bed tonight and tomorrow i need them on there so i can't pack them up just yet tomorrow i get my keys and i'm so excited to show you guys the apartment you guys have already seen the apartment that i picked by now the next video will be the empty apartment tour i'm so excited for you guys to see it i cannot wait i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye